Hi, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is about how to lose weight with diabetes. Now, losing weight is never fun. For most of us, it's not easy, especially as we get older. But the good news is that after 25 years of consulting, I have a simple and proven formula for losing fat quickly and safely, and that's what I'm going to share with you today. Now, losing weight is difficult as it is, but it's an even bigger challenge when you have diabetes. And the reason is due to the change in your hormones. When you're diabetic, you have two main challenges. The first is your body is not producing the proper amount of insulin, and thus you tend to have elevated blood sugar and glucose levels. The second is that your body is typically insulin insensitive, which means that your cells don't react properly to the insulin and usually require more to get the job done. Both of these scenarios will typically mean that the glucose from the foods you eat will usually convert to fat quicker than in non-diabetic people. Now, another problem with elevated insulin and blood sugar is that your thyroid levels will usually not be optimal, and this means slower metabolism. As you can see, hormones really do control everything. Throw in aging, and now things get a bit more challenging. So today I'm going to, first of all, help make improvements in your insulin and blood sugar levels so that your diabetes won't be as much of an issue in the future. Additionally, you'll discover how to maximize your fat loss, but also optimizing your fat-burning hormones, which means a faster metabolism, more energy, and easier fat loss, especially in those stubborn fat areas. So don't worry. It's not your fault. There is hope, and I've got the solution, and you can do it. So before I reveal some of the proven shortcuts to stripping off that ugly fat, I'd like to get a couple things out of the way. First, there's no drugs. You know, even though there are specific drugs that you can take that'll speed up the fat loss, unfortunately, they're just loaded with side effects. And later, you'll gain all the weight back when you get off the drug. But don't worry, I'll show you an all-natural solution that works almost as well as a drug, but without any of the negative side effects. The next thing is no weight loss. And by that, I mean that the other thing is you want to lose fat, not weight which is usually valuable muscle loss. Unfortunately, most weight loss programs can cause the wrong type of weight loss. So today I'll show you how you decrease the inches in those stubborn areas like your belly, arms, hips and legs for the ladies without losing muscle. Okay, so let's get started with the fastest and safest way to lose fat quickly. So there are really three main keys to permanent fat loss, and I'm going to simplify it for you right now. The first is diet, and this is the most important since you can easily consume more calories than you burn. Next is exercise, and by doing the right form of exercise, you'll burn a lot more calories, which will allow you to eat more food or just not diet as hard. And finally, supplements, because the right kind will turn on your fat-burning genes, which means faster fat loss with less effort. Okay, so let's start with step one, which is your diet. And the most important aspect of fat loss is your diet because you can easily consume more calories than you can burn. It's just so easy, and that's why we have to watch what you eat. So here are a few fast results diet tips. Let's start with first the things you should not do because these will quickly sabotage any weight loss goals you'll ever have. The first is do not eat carbohydrates. And I started with the hardest one, but that's because most carbohydrates, you know, grains and breads, pastas and rice, they're very calorically dense and they make you retain lots of water weight. Another problem is that they easily convert to fat due to the high blood sugar response. But if you're going to have them, do so only after an exercise session. Next is you do not want to drink your calories because there's no point in drinking any calories since that takes seconds to consume. And this means no sodas, no fruit juice, blended coffee drinks, or protein shakes and smoothies. Of course, no alcohol either. And finally, don't eat sauces. And this is easier for most people, but don't consume any sauces, syrups, salad dressings, and similar uh, products because they're just too calorically dense and are either loaded with sugar and or fat. Instead, have something like lemon juice and vinegar with your salad. Okay, so let's move on to the things that you can and should do. The first is you should eat carbohydrates. And I know I just told you not to, but carbs are very good for your metabolism because they improve your thyroid production. You just need to eat the right kinds, and that's primarily from unlimited amounts of vegetables, some fruits, 
legumes, and occasionally some sweet potatoes if you want a treat. Next, you should drink unlimited amounts of water and green tea. Now mix in some lemon juice and sweeten it with all natural stevia and you have a great tasting and healthy drink that will also help curb your appetite. And finally, you should eat some protein, but limit it to fish, chicken, and lean meats and no more than about four ounces daily and do not fry the meats or cook them with oils. Now step two is exercise and the second most important formula for fat loss success is exercise. And ideally you should do both aerobic and anaerobic exercise. And this means cardiovascular, like walking, running, and the treadmill, and also lifting weights to increase muscle mass, such as using free weights, machines, and cables. In fact, the weightlifting is probably more important for fat loss because the extra muscle burns fat all day long and helps give shape to your body. Now, you may lose less weight on the scale because of the extra muscle size, but you'll lose more of that ugly fat in those stubborn areas, which matters most. Anyway, the goal is just trying to do something daily. And for faster results, try exercising twice daily if you can. For example, you can walk in the morning, maybe for 20 or 30 minutes, and then do weights in the afternoon for 20 or 30 minutes. Now, this is a best case scenario, and I wouldn't expect you to start here unless you're just really super motivated and or you just want faster results. But the goal is trying to do a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes, three times a week, of just any form of exercise to begin with. And step three is supplements. Now taking specific herbs, vitamins, and minerals that are clinically proven to help lose weight is useful if you wanna first speed up your fat loss results, and that means especially in those stubborn fat areas. If you wanna increase your metabolism, kinda of like when you were younger, and finally if you wanna reduce your appetite, especially for sugars and carbohydrates. Now, this is exactly why my private clients and over half a million people for over 15 years have all utilized Lean Optimizer because it helps turn on your fat-burning genes. Now, we all know people who can kind of eat whatever they want and not exercise, and they really don't gain much weight. And this has to do with genetics and hormones. And this is why when women are menstruating or they're menopausal, they gain weight, but in all the wrong places. Again, hormones. So Lean Optimizer helps improve your fat-burning hormones and enzymes safely and naturally. Now, a summary on the bottom line to all this is that you do need to eat better and exercise daily. And by utilizing Lean Optimizer with the right diet and exercise program means much faster fat loss with less effort for you. Now, one major reason Lean Optimizer is better than other options is because it's doctor formulated and clinically tested to work. And the feedback has been really great. And since the product's been around for over 15 years, you know it works and it's safe. Anyway, there's a free video about this, about how you can uh, use Lean Optimizer, how it works, how you'll benefit. You can also view the clinical studies, the customer reviews, the FAQs and so forth. But take a look and let me know what you think, give it a try and then email me your results. Go ahead and do this right now. And thanks for listening.